the, the art is about finding the balance between being prepared, but also being willing to be flexible and, and being ready to be surprised. You know, as much as you can prepare, you don't know what's going to happen in that interview. And that's the good news. You know, you, you can't dictate what's going to happen. And in fact, uh, I think that as much as I advocate doing the homework and knowing about the person and knowing about the context uh, where the person resides, um, you know, really trying to avoid prejudgment as much as possible because that can really dictate the interview so much that you come home and you don't have any fresh information. You didn't actually gather information, which is supposed to be the point of any reporting, right, is gathering information. So if you go in there with all the answers, what are you going to learn really? Um, and the other problem with the over preparing is wanting to show your interview subject how much you know about him or her. And so you come home and you listen to your, your recording device and you're talking more than your subject because <laughs> you're showing off. You want to put them at ease and that's good. That's a good instinct that, you know, you want to make them comfortable, but with the goal of getting them to talk. And this all seems very obvious, but I mean, I've found with journalism students that, um, like I said, especially the diligent ones, they prepare so carefully and they think very much about what their questions are going to be and in what order and how they're going to word them. And all of that's really important. But, um, but then they spend most of their time showing the subject what they know.